G'day Westy here, just uh, want to show you a couple of little tricks with AutoCAD 2017. Now, um, I've only been playing this with this for about two weeks. Well, about, I've probably got about, I would say, 20 hours under my belt now, which is not a lot. Um, and what was, what was frustrating me, I was trying to actually do a, a um, plan view of my house. And I struggled with trying to actually get a line. I had a line say running across this way let's just say we want to create a line so press L and then space key and then we'll start it here and we'll create a line let's just make it 1200 I've got my template that I set up in millimeters and then enter and press escape now let's just say you want to create another line running up or down at a specific point along this line from this side or from this side now I was really struggling to get this so I'll pre you press L and then space and then if you hover over this point here you've got a green square that comes up end point and you can actually drag it along and what I was actually doing was I was actually see the numbers of the extension are going up slowly as I moved my mouse across and I was actually trying to actually desperately get exactly try, you know if say I want to get 500 you've got to drag the mouse and it jumps across and I was zooming in and then you'd lose the point and it was just frustrating so I couldn't find anything else on it so I figured it out and I thought I'd share that with you guys okay so you can to move your lines around you can click and hold the, the roller mouse and you can drag it around your screen and do whatever you like okay so what we want to do is we want to click out of here and just click into L for line and then space because space, you use your keyboard quite a lot now let's just say this length here is, um, I don't know, let's just say we want to create a line at 500 somewhere along this point, from this point here, 500 mil, and then we want to start coming up. So we press, so we actually hover over this point here and slowly start dragging it to the right and see how it's got extension 43 so if you type in 500 and then enter it actually starts you right where at that 500 point and see how the line breaks away and now I can go up whatever distance I want so let's just say I want to go 450 and I want to go if you let's just say I want to make it right in line with where I started but perpendicular so what you do is you come across and then you come up and it you hit that mark there and it draws that green line there and it, when you're close to it and when, and when it comes to line both up you got green on both angles and you just press enter and then you join it up at the bottom and then press escape and you've got a, a square and let's just say you want to shorten this end here so click on it and then hover over the point at this point here and press it and drag it back to this point here so click and release here and then drag it back to this point and click onto there and that's it press escape and you've got yourself your line shortened and if you want to copy it you left mouse click and release and then drag across and click and release and then you press um, CO for copy and then space and then you can select a point and then you can just drag it wherever you like and then you can just go wherever you like so I hope this helps cheers